Normally I don't start my videos this way, but this truck has cameras mounted on the underbody and we got to show that first. Like this is awesome. I have never seen anything like this before in my life. So this is the front. If you want, you could do a frontal view like this and it shows you the undercarriage as well. Or you could do front and rear for the undercarriage. And then if you like, you can do full screen for the front or the rear of the undercarriage. And you can zoom in under the truck. And if the camera gets dirty, you can wash the camera. Like that is awesome. Let's go see where that camera's mounted at. Hold on one second. So there it is, mounted right there. And I found it because of this. That is so awesome right there. And then the other camera's on the other side. Hold on one second. So yeah, right there. That is so cool. Welcome back to JB Reviews. I have a 2023 Chevy Colorado ZR2 and this thing looks absolutely amazing. And do you see that? The most intense off-road suspension on the market. Special shout out to Jerry Siner here in Salt Lake City. They did allow me to do this video. This truck is sold, but I understand why. Let's go ahead and check out the window sticker so we can see what's optional and standard. At the very top are all the specs for this build. So black on black ZR2 crew cab. And be sure to pause it for the standard equipment listed. One thing you'll see in the video is this does have a larger display for the gauge cluster. Now base price for a ZR2 is $46,800. And then this one was optioned with the ZR2 convenience package three, $1,490. And it has some pretty nice features in there too. Sunroof was there, technology package and then a couple other things. Destination comes in at $14.95 with a total price of $52,735. And then here's your fully common numbers on the side. This has got to be one of the most aggressive front ends you've ever seen. Absolute fire. Good job, GM. You have that flow through tie. ZR2 badge right there. LED high and low beams with accent light. Fog lights are LED as well, and they have like a projector style to them too. Tow hooks are painted red. That forward facing camera in the center there. This is just a really aggressive front end. They even raised the hood compared to the Trail Boss. Very aggressive styling here. Now they do use incandescent bulbs right here, but that's easy to upgrade. And then check out your approach angle there for the front end. They have that cut out. Huge skid plate down below too. And it goes far back to protect that transfer case. And that Multimatic DSSV, which is Dynamic Suspension Spool Valve. Wow. Yeah, this front end is fire. Now off to the side. What size tires are these? Well, they are the Goodyear Wrangler Territory MTs. And they are a 285, 70, 17. Really aggressive tire overall. And here are the capacities. 2,755 pounds at 50 PSI. And did you guys hear that I said this was a LT tire too? You have some protection for the cab here down below. Goes really well with this overall design too. Now I kind of wish they did an option to paint these. But not a big deal. And this is something else you would want to do is black that out. Paint the door handles with smart key system. 21 gallon fuel tank. And the suspension out back, you have four leaves in the main pack with that Multimatic DSSV again. But yeah, there's that transfer case right there. They don't have a skid plate for the fuel tank, which is surprising. And then here's that ZR2 badge. And check out your bumper. This is all plastic right here. Looks really good. 
incandescent bulbs in the tail lights. They do have a black surround. Parking sensors out back. Class 4 receiving hitch. 342 rear end, by the way, too. Oh, wow, check that out. You have a full size spare tire with a black steely. Yeah, this is a beast. Assisted tailgate with the storage. And I finally found a Colorado with the spray and bed liner from the factory. And then check that out. They stamp ZR2 in the front of the bed. 120 volt plug, 400 watts. Eight tie downs throughout the bed. And that sliding glass is manually operated. But yeah, this is a really, really nice truck. I think it's a better buy than a Canyon, guys. Now I do feel like I kind of brushed over the wheel, so let's take one more look at these. I like where they stamped ZR2 right there. And they do have like a bronze appearance to them on the spokes. And then you have that machine look. And then you have like a darker gray color. So there's a lot going on on these wheels. They do provide this fabric material in the wheel wells, which should make it a little bit easier to clean out. Six lug. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this 2.7 liter four cylinder turbo. A lot of people were a little upset about them discontinuing the diesel. But this gas engine is built like a diesel. For example, it has a more rigid cylinder block casting and 30% stiffer crankshaft. Keep in mind, fully forged bottom end. This is the high output, so it's gonna have 310 horsepower with 430 pound-feet of torque, which is class leading currently. Eight-speed transmission, and as I mentioned earlier, 342 axle ratio. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. So this is where I think the Colorado is gonna really win is the ZR2 has pretty much the exact same interior that you've seen on the Silverado. And yeah, this is amazing. Seat memories, door locks with all your power windows and mirrors. The mirrors do not power fold though. And then check out the camouflage that they added throughout the interior. You can see even on this side there, looks really good. And then some of that lime green stitching there with the perforated leather. Really nice attention to detail. Telescoping steering wheel, trailer brakes down below. I will show you guys a payload here in a second. It's actually pretty high. No heads up display. But this truck does have the 11 inch screen. By the way, push button start. 11.3 inch screen right there. Oh, and you see right down below, you have a rear locker and you can lock both axles. That's a true off-roader. Now we have to check out some of the drive modes because they should give you an additional one with the ZR2. So we're gonna twist this clockwise. You can also twist it counterclockwise to see your drive modes. The first one you're gonna see is normal. Next one is off-road, tow haul, terrain and then this is the new one Baja so you can either reduce ESC or don't reduce it which is electronic stability control and I don't know if you guys noticed there's also an icon below it to allow you to see what this will do now as I mentioned this larger screen only comes with the ZR2 and it may come a part of the Z71 too but check this out the layout, the colors look great. I love this screen, but it gets better. You also have full screen navigation. And this is my favorite screen. So you have some of your transmission and your uh, coolant gauges right there, but it does get a little bit better for you. So this screen hides a lot of the controls around the interior and it makes it a lot cleaner. So your fog lights, your lighting controls are in here. You can do your power window lockout. 
parking sensors, downhill assist is in this area too. So they do hide some of that stuff for you in this menu. You also have another one that you have to learn, which is a vehicle status. So there's a few things in here that will come in handy for you. So they do give you an overview. So you can kind of go around the truck, you can check out the tire pressure. You guys saw the oil indicator, the brake pad life. And they do have it individually for you too, like this. I love the fact that they give you a actual number for like your coolant, transmission temp, oil pressure, and oil temperature. The HDs don't even have that. Your trip information to reset it, you have to do it through this screen here. And you can do full screen navigation. The home button is going to be your friend too. I do have the ventilated seats on. They work great by the way. And then here's a few other things that I didn't point out. Now outside of the screen, auto stop start, caution lights, and then this is your lane keep assist, your auxiliary. If you decide to add a light bar to it, you can add that here. And then you can put all the windows down by pushing this button. So if it's really hot outside or if someone farts in the truck, that's going to help with that. But again, the overall attention to detail on this interior is really nice. You have two USBs, type C, type A, wireless charger for your phone, your gear limiter is right there, electronic parking brake. This is how you get to your four wheel drive high and low. Center console with some storage that's removable. They do put a 12 bolt in there too. Cup holders. Great appointments to the passenger side for the interior. Now this seat is not power by the way grab handles right here and I will say this bar it is something extra that you have to kind of step over or you have to step on them one of the two glove boxes right here and then here's some of the controls above they're still using incandescent bulbs black roof and yeah this interior is really nice both sound system out back I will admit, the front seats go way back. I'm 6'1", and I have to push the seat up a little bit because it's just too far back for me. But you have cup holders, air vents, USBs, power plug down below. There is storage, a little bit of storage below the seat. And as I mentioned on the outside, that sliding glass is manually operated. You can drop the headrest down for more visibility out that back glass seat back they call these map pockets by the way but i put my laptop in mine on my silverados and they haven't torn yet now as far as the numbers go the gross axle weight rating is going to be 3500 pounds but i don't know if you guys notice for the zr2 they do lower the gross axle rating out back so it's typically 3600 pounds for z71 trail boss and lt but it's a little bit lower but they do raise the gross fuel core rating. Same thing goes for the Trail Boss. So it's 200 pounds more at 6,250. And then here are your tire specs. Your wheels are 17 by eight. And then all in payload capacity is 1,227 pounds. So that's pretty big for a truck like this. So you could tow a you know, 4,000 pound travel trailer with something like this. But I hope you guys liked the video. Special shout out to Jerry Siner and for allowing me to do this walk around. This is a really nice pickup and I think that Chevy did more than enough and I think most people are gonna be happy with the results.